Kevin Carter was a great photographer whose story was tragically cut short because of a photo he took in 1993 in South Africa. South Africa in the 90s was a very important time. Nelson Mandela was about to be released from prison and apartheid was coming to an end. So there were lots of important pieces of history to be captured. Carter, being from Johannesburg himself, grew up around the constant social and political strifes that seemed to plague Southern Africa. Because of this, he had always had an affinity for helping those lesser fortunate. However, it wasn't until he personally witnessed the Church Street bombing in Pretoria in 1983 that he would then go on to begin photographing photos of hardships in Africa to spread the word to others. He took many photos of apartheid that received many accolades, but none as well known as this photo right here, the vulture and the little girl. This photo was taken on March 26, 1993 during the Sudan, fa during the Sudan famine. The photo was published in New York Times, and although it would later go on to win the Pulitzer Prize the very next year, the backlash it received was massive and overwhelmingly negative. Before discussing what led to such controversy and backlash, let's first focus on the photo itself. The photo features an emaciated child curled up into the fetal position on the ground, with the vulture which appears to be only a few feet behind the child, as if stalking its prey. This photo is a great example of how the moment of a photograph is so impactful. If Carter had snapped the photo a moment later or a moment earlier, the bird may have flown away or the child may have stood up or changed positions. It's like all of these things aligning in the perfect moment for the perfect shot. If you then look more at the photo, you will notice how completely empty the rest of the landscape is. There are lots of negative space in the photo and the two subjects being in the front. This lack of substance other than the bird and child represents the famine itself, completely desolate and nothing in sight except for pain and suffering. The child is the first thing your eyes see as it's in the foreground. However, when your eyes set to the background of the image and realize the dark horror is being implied by the composition of the photo, it becomes even more impactful and powerful. If you then look even closer, you will notice that the bird looks as if, as if it's a few feet from the child. However, it was later revealed that the bird actually was a few yards away from the child. A wide angle lens was used to achieve this closer look that the photo provides, making it seem like the bird is creeping up on the child waiting for its moment to strike. This shows how useful your tool is when it's used to the full ability, and how that can heavily impact the outcome of your work. Not only was the bird farther away from the child, but also the child's mother was very close by, meaning that the child was in no imminent danger, and the photo was simply taken to make it seem that way and emphasize the seriousness of the situation going on in Sudan. This directly ties into the backlash that was received by Carter for the specific photo. If you look at this photo, the line drawn around the circle in the curve kind of shows how if you look at it from a different perspective rather than straight on with that arrow, you can kind of see the distance and how the lens manipulated the photo to make it seem like the bird was closer to the child when in fact it was a few yards away. Carter was brutally ripped apart in the media for this photo because people thought he should be helping the child instead of taking a photo despite the bird being far away and the mother being nearby. The backlash to this photo, as well as living the life he did, was so severe that Kevin Carter took his own life in July of 1994, barely a year later. This is an extreme example of just how impactful and powerful photographs are, and just how deep the emotions they evoke can be. It really is tragic, but also fascinating how Carter was a victim of not only the harsh ridicule and public mockery, but also his own passion for exposing the hideous truths of humanity.